today is a very exciting day. We're at Hilltop Motorcycles in Hinkley, and the reason I'm here with my van is because Jeff, who works here, is gonna help me with the next step of this van, which is putting all the electrics in. This. I nearly dropped in what we we're gonna put in then. I'm keeping it a secret because it's a little bit of a surprise. All of this stuff that I'm going to put in today was kindly given to me by Tainer Batteries, so I'll put a link to their website below. Um, and yeah, what an amazing bunch of people they gave me all this stuff for free, so I can't thank them enough. So what we'll do is I'll go inside now, see Jeff, um, bring the van in, and then talk you through exactly what I'm going to do today, show you all the stuff I've got from Tainer. As we fit it all, I'll show you how we fit it, and then explain the next step of the van at the end of the video. But I'm very excited, as you can probably tell. I'll just keep talking and waffling. Right, I'm going in now. Oh, lastly, check the new watch. Casio, Taz hates it and I absolutely love it. So, stuff you Taz, you can't teach class. The whole reason behind me coming here is because that there is Jeff's van and Jeff's done a few of these, which is why I'm using his expertise because he knows exactly what he's doing. And I'm clueless. This is how you make, this is a proper van, <laughs> not yeah, like my SC Mickey Mouse project. <laughs> so what we've got, so we've got a device controller. Yeah. So turn spotlights on. And then those halos that you're on about. Oh, wicked, yeah. They go all the way round. Yeah. Because um, at night, it don't matter how good your curtains are, if you've got your spots on, yeah. people can see straight in all the right. time. So you put, the, put those on, I could change the colours. They come in a roll. Um, that you just basically stick, stick up and on. put in, yeah. Okay. And then you've got obviously you can dim your. Oh yeah, wicked. Cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's proper van. This is a. Only old... you would have CCTV in your van, Jeff. Oh yeah, all 360 <laughs> all the way around. <laughs> Satellite Jeff the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff could honestly take down the White House with this van. Do not trust Jeff if he comes anywhere near you with this van. Be afraid. <laughs> I've got. Full office underneath there, full size printer, everything. Amazon Fire, but we won't go into that too much. <laughs> if you need a stick, Jeff, you might. <laughs> right. Um, right, so on that, we've got 1.2 kilowatts of solar as well. Right. So, I mean, we're charging it at the minute and there's, there's no sun or anything. We're charging it about, about eight amps at the minute. Um, but yeah, running out of power's not cool. Yeah, well, hopefully we can avoid that with my yeah. setup. Right. Right. I'll show Let's... you the messy back as well. That's another inverse that I'll be putting in. <laughs> so oh, I'll have big. 12 kilowatts of inversion then. Can. You can run your house off your van, can't you? I have done, we had a power yeah. plug. And all I've done was took an extension lead from my van up my driveway into the house and telly, fridge, everything was all working <laughs> while the power was off. It was like brilliant. Good wheels, I love your wheels. Oh, it's actually not that bad in here now. Right, so in there, yeah. we've got, you can see them actually come across here, you'll see them flashing away. They're lithium ion phosphate four battery banks. Um, I've got three in there, totaling 1,900 amps. Then I've got an inverter stroke charger, which is seven kilowatts in total. Um, got a little computer that controls it. Made that out of a Raspberry Pi. Um, and then I've got my charger system that charges from the vehicle to those while I'm driving. Yeah. It'll also handle the solar as well. Um, and then I've got a switchover system. So when all of the batteries are charged and everything, it will divert the power from the solar to start heating the water. Oh, so I don't waste anything. Yeah. I've just always got hot water there. Yeah. Let's get cracked on with. Uh, yeah. Oh, you can see your solar panel up there. Oh, there's they go all the way along. Is there? Yeah, there's three of them up there. Um, got a satellite as well. I don't know if you've seen the big, big lump on the front. Yeah, I don't know if it. Oh yeah, I see. So when we're at the race meetings, we can watch what we need to watch. You mean? <laughs> Hacking into <laughs> anyone and anything you can, that's the real no, reason. No, mate, no. <laughs> right, let's have a look at what um, Tainer have given me. Right. Because I'm, I'm saying let's have a look, because you need to explain what it is, because right. it just looks like electrical items are oh, coming through this way. So what I've got here is a 
<laughs> right, a couple of AGM batteries. Yeah. I don't know what ampage they are. But probably what about one tens actually. Yeah, two AGM batteries. Box of connecting cable sockets and wires. We've got an MPPT. Now that will control your solar panel um, to charging, charging your batteries. Then you've got a DC to DC. This will come off your vehicle supply, so when you're driving, um, it'll charge your batteries. Yeah. Um, that's a charger. Um, you shouldn't really need it, but if you, your batteries did drop, um, you can pick them back up with that. Okay. But the problem with AGMs is you can only use 50% of the power. Right. Um, <clears throat> so say you've got two 100 amp ones, that's 200 amps. So you've got 100 amps of usable power because you don't let an AGM drop down because it, it destroys them. Okay. Compressor that we'll put in. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh, right, okay, we've got an inverter. They're your brackets for your solar panel. Yeah. You've got a pure sine wave inverter, <coughs> which is 1,000 watts. Yeah, oh, that's okay. Um, it's all right for running small sort of stuff. And then you obviously got your solar panel. Got solar panel. Can you explain how this is going to work basically? So from where the power is going and from start to finish. Right, okay. So <clears throat> your storage for your batteries is that's where you're storing your power in your AGM batteries. Um, you then, you've got two ways that they're going to recharge themselves. One is via the solar and one is via you driving along, just yeah. using the normal sort of like power from the vehicle. Um, and then you just use it as you need it. So we're going to have the batteries at the front, which are going to, are they both getting charged from the solar panel or one's getting charged from one and one getting no, charged from the other? No, both batteries will go together. Yeah. Okay. Um, we could go 24 volt system, but your inverter and everything is all 12. So okay. we're going to put them together. Yeah. Um, and they will be supplied via the solar or the vehicle okay. at the same time. Okay. And then that's going to go to the back where I'm going to have my plug sockets, which we can run the compressor and... Well, your compressor is 12 volts. Oh, so that's so just going to come out of a... Off your 12 volt batteries. Yeah. Okay, wicked. Um, Did you see, I'll pause there to let you finish the sentence because I have no idea what's happening. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> <laughs> right. All I know is when we get to the end, Jeff, and we put all of this power in, I want a coffee machine <laughs> that I can plug in. <laughs> well, as so long as it ain't a thousand, more than a thousand watts, right. you'll be all right. With sand, all right, that's <laughs> it. So that's the mission for today. We're going <laughs> to. So do one of them click things, you go like that, and it's done. Yeah, that'd be really good. <laughs> Uh, I'm going now. Right, thanks. <laughs> so while Jeff's over there sorting bits out for this uh, next part of the project, I thought I'd show you the Jeff section of this building. So when we raced last year, Jeff always told me about his workshop and I was always excited to see it. So you can probably see behind me some of his flying equipment. Jeff can... What is it you fly, Jeff? What are these called behind me? Um, paramotors and a trike. Um, that's a tandem trike that's got all the levers and there is one actually in there. And then there's another one in the bag that's on the side of it. I've got a bit of an obsession. <laughs> um, and then I've got another one at the top as well, so there's three there. Look, yeah, you keep saying you're going to get me strapped into this, but I'm not sold so far. It'll be alright, mate. It'll be fine. <laughs> it won't be a problem. <laughs> There's nothing to bump into other than the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then these are Jeff's 3D printers. So he can print airbox parts or anything that he wants to print. But then he was just telling me that the commercial ones you can buy weren't big enough. So Jeff just made his own. So this is Jeff's home built 3D printer. You can see he's a very clever individual, far more intelligent than I'll ever be. And then I won't even ask what all this is over here, but lots more electronic stuff. He's OCD with cleanliness and tidiness, as you can tell. 
<laughs> Isn't that right, Jeff? <laughs> and then this is his dyno. Look at the soundproofing on his dyno. State of the art. Homemade dyno that Jeff uses. So if anyone needs any dyno work, he's your man. In Hinkley. Have you found what we're after, Jeff? Um, not yet. Oh. I need some of that though. The blade. And then this lunatic. <laughs> right, I think what we'll do. Ready? Yeah. the numbers what do the numbers say it is a nine amp uh, maximum series of series of 18 15 amp so nine amp continuous nine amp what's that in what's about about 30 watts isn't it yeah about 30 watts okay like so it's a baby one <laughs> good though, they are good. So we've organised all the bits, the first step is going to be putting this solar panel on the roof. We've positioned it in place, we just stuck the, well I say we, Jeff stuck these pieces on and then we're going to riv nut that to the top of the van now so it won't go anywhere. So Jeff has very kindly drilled and riv nutted the top of the van, which are these bits here. So we've got all the riv nuts in now. Now it's a case of moving the solar panel into place and then bolting it in. And then we're also gonna put a bead of silicon around that to fully bond it and seal it to the top of the van. Jeff says you can use some kind of adhesive to put these onto the roof, but when he does his, he bolts them in with riv nuts because it's just a bit more secure and you know that it's never gonna come off then. Once we've got the solar panel on, we will then move on to putting some of the cabling in, routing that to these batteries and the inverter and all the other little bits. Because this is a mountain bike, motorbike, track day van, I've managed to buy this tiny compressor, which Tom Cardi, who you've seen on this channel before, a mountain biker and YouTuber, uh, recommended to me. And it's great because it fits in that tiny gap there and I'll be able to pump mountain bike tyres, motorbike tyres up um, from the back of the van, so that's ideal. He actually used a bigger one before and he says it blew his van to pieces. So we've just got this small one which is more than enough to pump tyres up. This was the moment of truth, Jeff screwing these in. <laughs> Turns out he knows what he's doing. <laughs> no, it's just pure luck. <laughs> pure luck. The last one goes in there. See there, that's bolted in. Boom, it's not going anywhere. We hope. Well. Might have to screw the panels to the brackets though. Oh, yeah, well there is that. <laughs> I did remember that. That isn't actually screwed to anything yet. <laughs> the brackets aren't going anywhere. The solar panel is currently. <laughs> but you'll have a place to put the new one. Yeah. <laughs> you so you can see where Jeff has tied it all in now and then cabling goes from there into this boot which is used to put some rivets in riveted that to the top of the van and they go down there and that's how the solar panel will connect hey. <laughs> it's like it was made for it make sure yeah straight through the cable <laughs> it's normally water mains in it that you go through <laughs> she's in she's in what is this board here for jeff 
Uh, that's for all of your fuse panel, okay. um, your central electrical point. Yeah. So it keeps it all nice and in one place. There you go, T. Them serial numbers are well and truly gone now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just wiring up the solar charger, and Jeff's just made the if the grinder was out. Just making a, apart from taking the, off my chassis numbers, uh. <laughs> we were <laughs> putting that post on there. Can you see that bolt? So we can put all the earths to it. And we're not too far away, are we? It's no. coming on swimmingly well so we far. Sh we shall have powers pretty soon. Well, that, more importantly, or more excitingly, is connecting to my phone. So we've got an app here that's not in focus. This is just updating. That app connects to that so we can see your charge rate, set your charge rate, when charge cuts on, cuts off. Awesome. Exciting. We've that's got just... plenty of washers, though. Yeah, I had a slight accident with the washers. <laughs> may or may not have... Uh, kicked four box of washers over in the back of the van but luckily a job like that is something I'm more than capable of doing so I just kept me entertained for 25 minutes putting them all back in. I think Jeff left them there on purpose for I me did, to actually. kick over I'll, I'll so it, yeah. I would then get out of his hair for 25 minutes picking washers up. So here's my app that tells me all about the battery, the charge levels, the top 15 watts there is, is that how much solar power we're currently generating? The big, the yes. 16. Yeah. You, yeah. Your solar energy is 22 volts at 16 watts, and that produces one amp at the moment of charge. <laughs> it's just clicked on the Batham's group chat. Oh, did it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's Batham's group chat that we still have from last year. <laughs> Coops is still in. Tell Jeff. Red to red, black to black, and blue to bits. <laughs> Hey, I like that. That was good. That was good, that. That was good for Coops. That was really good. <laughs> We're in business. We're in business. Got the inverter on. Put the charger's in. Ledger batteries are in. Last job is to fit or connect up all the 12 volt bits and pieces. Yes. We're good to go. It's gone swimmingly well, hasn't it, Jeff? Yeah. All things considered. Well, we haven't had any fires or sparks. <laughs> So, yeah, I'll take it as a success. <laughs> <laughs> Moment of truth. <laughs> Woo! He's on. <laughs> He's got air coming out. Beautiful. Excellent. Right. We've got the little fuse panel in. Jeff's just fitted. We're flying, Jeff. We're on it, mate. Yeah, We're I'm impressed. Now. I'm more shocked, but I think, I don't know why I didn't trust you. It's myself I didn't trust. <laughs> this situation normally, something would be on fire. Well, I give mean, it a minute. I've already kicked the box of washers over once. <laughs> right, it's coming up to, let's check on the Casio, 6.26 in the evening. I've done a full day on it, and so far, we have fitted the two batteries. These aren't secured yet. We're gonna put some uh, wooden battens around them for now, just to hold them in place. But this isn't the final floor that I'm gonna have. So that's just a tempor temporary measure. You can see where it comes through from the front, uh, from the main battery, which is under the driver's seat, into these two. Um, we've got the fuse box for the um, board for the compressor, uh, the plug and the lights, which we've now got in a dibber switch. We've got the inverter at the bottom with the solar charger and then we've ran the cables down here to the back now oh. and in the back we have got a cigarette charger because I'm a heavy smoker and in case we ever need to run a fridge or something like that we've got the dimmer switch for the lights at the back this is very annoying it won't focus it just wants to look at the Casio I think that's why dimmer switch for the lights so that you can turn that on and off. We've then got the USB ports 
the digital display. And here's a compressor, which I've already shown you. So that compressor is gonna sit here like this. I'm gonna have a mount on the side for where the valve can come out. And then I've got the cable for it. And then we've got two more plug sockets to fit. So I'm gonna fit these two plug sockets, or sorry, wire them up, put the, uh, the buttons in for the batteries, and that's pretty much it for today. It's the moment of truth. So we've now got one battery, two batteries, fuses, inverter, the inverter is now switched on. Jeff's got a plug in it. And it fires up. Like that, discharge a minute. Oh, voila. Voila. Compressor in, plug sockets. Compressor test. <laughs> Pumping. That's it. <laughs> the next job, it's off to the carpenters. Thank you very much, Jeff. I really appreciate That's that. That's all right, mate. No problem. And if anyone needs any dyno work or... What the work do you do here, Jeff? Uh, Van wiring. No. <laughs> you didn't do van wiring, but now you do. <laughs> um, basically, 3D printing stuff as well, prototype engine cases, yeah. all that sort of stuff. You can do it all. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody wants teaching MoTeC as well. Yeah, you, you can, can do, do that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can try. <laughs> Thank you.